Hello guys, welcome back to LenApp. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to create a mobile friendly Canva website. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. So you might be wondering how do you exactly create a mobile friendly Canva website here? Now, we all know that creating a website here in Canva is going to be a lot easier compared to other platforms out there. But the thing with uh, the website builder here for Canva, it's quite limited. But the thing here is with their builder, you could use the design tools that is already existing here in Canva. And also the great thing about Canva here is you could choose from the templates that is available right now on their platform. Now, how do we exactly create our website here and make it kind of mobile friendly here? So I'll be giving you some tips here and things that you may want to consider and you need to remember here when you're creating something. So first is first, let's go and start creating our website. Let's go ahead and go ahead and click on create design at the top left here. And we want to go to websites. As you can see, immediately, all the options that we can see here is going to be websites, which allows you to design your own website. Now, there are going to be a lot of templates that you could choose from here. So go ahead and choose one that suits your stuff. Now, obviously, you can start from scratch here if you want. But in our case, we want to make sure that we uh, basically uh, get or in this case, set our website here a lot faster than usual. So maybe I want to use a very specific design here. So for example, maybe I want to use this design here. Let's go ahead and click on this one. Now from here, it should start setting up your website here. And obviously, as you can see, different pages and a lot more. Now, the thing with websites or templates that you use here in Canva is you can add additional like elements in into it. You could add different designs in it. Like for example, let's go to elements here. If, for example, if you want to add a flower in uh, your design here, you could go ahead and do so, as you can see right now. Now, obviously, you could go ahead and just do this for every page you want here. You could go and double click on the text and the image here. You can even like uh, basically upload your own photo here. So, for example, I'm going to select this one and upload my own photos. And my, maybe I want to do this for some of the photos that is already existing in here. It's going to start uploading some of the photos that we have. But yeah, so you could just change it in whatever way you want. And you can even add like additional pages here. Like for example, let's go click on add page here. And you can just add your photo and just do it randomly as you can see right now. So yeah, so you can just make a collage here, a, a real quick collage. But yeah, so in this case, once you've set up your website here, viewing them is fairly easy. So if you click on the preview button at the top right here, this just previews your website. As you can see, the default view that you can see here is going to be the uh, web version or the desktop version of your website. But if you want to view it in mobile version, you can just actually click on the mobile button you see at the top right here. And you should be able to see how it's going to look like. So as you can see, immediately it's quite uh, actually um, more organized than we thought as you can see now. So the thing with Canva here is they automatically adjust the look of your website depending on how you design it. So as you can see, let's go and scroll down. And as you can see, this is our photo here, which in this case, it retains the actual uh, formatting of those, uh, in this case, uh, those photos or how we organize it. Now the thing with Canva here is they actually improve how your website will look like because if I remember correctly, like before some photos would actually overlap, some of the photos would be a lot bigger, so it's not that organized. But right now, I think they improved that. And in this case, it makes your site here looks more organized. But just in case, like if you're having some problems with organizing your content or your photos or your elements here in Canva, there are a few things that you need to consider. So first things first, uh, let's answer the, uh, the main question here. Can you edit the mobile version of your Canvas website? Well, right now, it's a yes and no answer to that. So uh, the yes answer here is whenever you change something on your website here, and whenever you do one of the tips I'll be uh, talking about later on, this actually direct, uh, directly, uh, indirectly. Uh, affect the mobile version of your website but if you want to directly edit the uh, editor or the builder for your web uh, your mobile version of your website here well unfortunately canva does not have that capability yet so you won't be able to edit the mobile version of your website directly on your screen here now instead you can just go to uh, the preview button they see at the top right here and just switch over to mobile here and see if the design just did actually matches or actually uh, is um, correct or in this case the design 
it fits or looks good in the mobile version. So that's the only thing that we could do here to reference uh, the changes that we did. Now, the thing with this one is depending on how you set this up, the look itself will change. As you can see, since uh, most of the elements that we see here are overlapped, uh, some of the uh, the elements itself here, as you can see, they are closely together. This will be most likely be grouped together. So the first thing that I would recommend you uh, do, try doing here is instead of just adding them in uh, this way, like overlap, overlapping them, I would recommend you to highlight all of the elements that you want to be grouped together, right click on it, and you want to go and choose the group option here. Now this just guarantees that it tells Canva that, hey, this, uh, this section here is grouped. Uh, I don't want you to separate this element. So just to guarantee that it will, or the actual look, uh, will, the look of your website here will be retained when we never, whenever we go to our mobile version. As you can see, when we go back here, as you can see, they are grouped together. And this is a great way for you to just guarantee the look of your website. Now also, like for example, if you don't want to, uh, collapse if you don't want your website collapsing on a photo or one photo only like for example this one so for example so that the actual uh photo does not collapse uh, or the, the actual pages that collapse in your uh the photo here this is just an example by the way so whenever you go to preview here i'm going to show you what i'm exactly i'm talking about here so we go as you can see it fills the whole screen we go to mobile here Again, it fills the whole screen. Now, if you want to have this locked on a very specific, uh, in this case, um, look or size, what you need to do is you want to make sure that you edit your photo here that has enough space on it. And also make sure to match the background itself. Now, also, if you're not aware yet, a great for you to expand the photo that you currently have right now is through Canvas uh, uh, this, uh, Expand. So if you click on your image here and click on Edit, when you go to Magic Studio here, at the last section here, you should see Magic Spot, which allows you to expand your photo depending on your prompts that you'll be entering here, which in this case, it can make it a lot bigger here. And the cool thing, trick that you could try doing here is you want to select the actual um, background here and you want to match the background color. So in this case, we have white. So it now matches the background here. And also, if you expand this one, so expand this one. If you add like uh further expand this one, so it will guarantee that it does not touch uh touch the ends of the screen itself. Now, obviously, if you have this like tightly more, like for example, in here, it uh, ends in here. The sides end in here. So obviously, uh, you may want to expand it like uh like this one. So whenever we preview it you have like more space in your mobile version it doesn't necessarily touch it as you can see right now now also the sizing here is something really important as well and this will determine how it's going to look like on your website itself but yeah so in this case that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to line up thank you for watching